Hi guys, it's Deborah from Timeless Jewel by Deborah. Today we are opening up box A. I had to do this for myself to remind me. Um, this one is Phoenix 15 piece jewelry. The Mechanicsburg series that we had was phenomenal. So I am hoping that Phoenix doesn't let us down. So let's get into it and let's see what beauties they have sent. Okay, when did I order this? I ordered this February 11th. Okay. No air pillows. That's normal for Phoenix. Get the box out of the way. Try to preserve the paper. Alright. Well, I see Brighton. And I see lots of necklaces. I see a watch. Alright, we're going to take it out and we're going to get into it. Oh, and that looks like Tender Scott. Alright, so I got everything laid out. I do have Pressy getting warmed up. Um, this is a nice little mix. I kind of like it. Um, nothing that is like really fantastic, but there are some great pieces. So let's start with this. This is a gold tone bangle. It looks like it's in okay condition. A little bit of wear. It might just need a clean up. There is no maker's mark on it. This is pretty small. They fit about a six and a half. Let's do her for eight. Okay, then we've got a new one with the card. Amarita Singh, beautiful rose gold, a little bit of stretch bracelet. Here is the clasp. It's very pretty. It's a beautiful rose gold color. Measures in at about, I would say, a seven and a quarter for the best fit. We will do that one for 18. All right, then we got a cool Michael Kors watch. Bring that up here so you can see that face. Definitely needs a battery. Looks like it's in really good condition. It just de definitely needs to be cleaned here. There could be a little wear. So that definitely needs a little cleanup. But the face is fantastic. No scratch marks. So if anyone's interested in the Michael Kors watch, I can do, let's do 40. Okay, then we have a new pair of House of Harlow beautiful earrings now these are a collab between house of harlow and rachel zoe how cool is that i'm not going to take them out of the package they measure in at three inches by one inch they're really super pretty they're for pierced ears they do come with their pouch so for these let's do 20. we've got another new on the card this is by jane thomas designs really pretty um silver tone i guess they are like a porcelain and this i'm not sure what it is almost feels like a wood or maybe a resin they are so pretty let me get you a measurement on this they're different they measure in at two and a eighth by just under three quarters of an inch so for the jane thomas let's do 12. Okay, then we've got, let's see, these beautiful new on the cards, Loft. Now, I thought they were textured. They are not. Inside of the stone is like, it looks like a glitter, but it's the same kind of glitter. So they have fantastic sparkle and they're surrounded with rhinestones. This is what they look like. They were originally $24.50. Let me get you a size on these. They are half of an inch. Aren't they lovely? I love that color. It reminds me of the ocean. Let's do eight on those. Okay. And then we've got, hmm, oh, yes. Another ring. This is Love AJ. It's got its little bag. Here is what it looks like. It's super pretty. Gold tone. All the stones are there. This measures in at an eight. Let's bring this up so you can see that. Really beautiful design. I like that. So for this ring, let's do 
15. All right, and then we have a Kendra Scott with the bag. Beautiful ring and it has mixed stones. This is definitely lapis. So I have Pressy out. Let's test the other stones. Okay, we will do the green one here first. Okay, that one's not moving. Let's try the pink. Oops, it slipped off. Let's try that again. All right. Okay, that is pink quartz. Let's try, oh, is that purple or blue? I guess this is a purple. Try that one one more time. Okay, that's coming up as glass. The green one is coming up as glass. And then we have a tiny little ball one here that is faceted. And that one is also coming up as glass. So this is a really pretty ring. Gold tone, six and a quarter. Really pretty design. So for the Kendra Scott, let's do, let's do 25 on her. Okay, next up we got a cute little Brighton bag with a Brighton necklace. And this necklace is in fantastic condition. Usually you find these and they're not in great condition. This is a really lovely piece. Let me get you a measurement on her. She measures in an eight inch wearable, but has a two and a half inch extender. Here is the front and the back. Nice rope. Does have its hang tag right there with the B. Very nice. So this is in great condition. I was happy to see that. So for this Brighton, let's do 40 on that. All right. Then we got this gorgeous White House Black Market necklace. Look at this thing. It is stunning. And this metal here is heavyweight. It's got silver tone and gold tone tassels. Here is the chain, also silver tone and gold tone, multi-strand. Does have its hang tag right here for White House Black Market. They are a sister company to Chico's. They make fantastic, fantastic jewelry. So I'm going to have to unknot this, but let me get you a measurement. It measures in at a 14 and a half inch wearable. And the extender is just under three inches. Here's what the back looks like. Here is the front. Absolutely beautiful. So for this White House Black Market, let's do 20. All right. Let's see. Where do we want to go next? Okay, we've got another necklace. Love this. This is a Cookie Lee. Let me bring this up here so you can see that. There is the Cookie Lee tag, silver tone. These are a lucite, pretty so, uh, frosted gray stones, clear. Really pretty. Let me get you a measurement on these. It measures in at a 17 inch wearable, and it does have a two inch extender. That is really pretty, and it's pretty lightweight. I like it. Let's do the cookie leaf for, let's do her for 12. All right. Then we have what I'm calling the, the disc necklace. <laughs> it is from Macy's. Every little single mesh here, it has a little disc and on the inside it's concave. Really pretty. And it's frosted and silver and also with the shiny gold tone. It's on a nice chain. Love this piece. It was originally $36.50. Here's the Macy's tag. Very pretty, unique. Get you a measurement. So it is an 18 inch total length with a two and a half inch extender. She's lovely. So let's do the bib necklace for let's do her for eight she's pretty all right then we've got another brighton necklace 
This has large stones in it. This looks like a foiled stone. It's really pretty. These are more of a gray. It's in excellent condition. This one looks like it's never been worn either. This is what the back looks like. If I can get that flipped over. <laughs> there is the back. Very nice. Very clean. Here is the Brighton hang tag right there. Don't mind the yellow. I've been testing jewelry like crazy. I have a huge pile of suspected sterling silver and gold. So I am testing that until my new gold tester comes. And thank you, Marilyn from Shady NY, for testing it out for us. So now I know which one to get. I appreciate that. All right, so this has a drop of eight inches with an extender of two and a half. Really pretty. So for this Brighton, I will also do 20 on that. Then we got a Simply Vera Wang. Let me show you the hang tag so you know that when you see it. And this is like a, a gunmetal and silver tone chain with beautiful crystal clear faceted balls and a gray with aurora borealis grape color absolutely beautiful the light hits it really nicely let me get you a measurement on this it has a 10 inch drop there is an extender let me get you the measurement on that and it would be another three inches isn't that beautiful let's do her for let's do her for 10 why not all right, and then we have a beautiful faux pearl necklace, silver tone latch. It's got this hidden clasp right here. goes right into that little hole. Very pretty. While I have it open, I might as well measure it for you. Each bead is, is uh, knotted in between. The total length would be 18 inches. And let me get you a millimeter for those pearls. They are so pretty. All right, so the millimeter on the pearl is, put my glasses on, it is an eight millimeter pearl. So we're looking right there. Gorgeous. So this was a great lot. Let me know what your favorite piece is. From this one, I would have to say I really love this two Brighton pieces. They are my favorite. And I love those House of Harlow with the Rachel Zoe. These are really pretty. So leave me a comment. If you are interested, shoot me an email at timelessjewelbydebra at gmail.com. I will gladly hold your item for a week. I do at the end of the week, either Sunday evening or Monday morning, do my invoicing. So that way, if you want to shop throughout the week or any of my live sales, then I can ship them all together and save you some money on shipping. So all the information you need is down there in the description. Please consider hitting that thumbs up and subscribing. That would be fantastic. I appreciate it. And as always, be well and take care of yourselves, guys. Bye.